Good morning. It's Monday morning again. God has been wonderful with us to extend at least for many of us the week. We had the Sabbath, now we had yesterday, the first day of the week, today is Monday, the second day of the week, and as usually we do, we try to um, bring a word of, of encouragement and advice and counsel from whatever the word uh, is going to tell us, the Bible. Um, I pray you are doing well. Before we begin reading a very short devotional this morning, let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your goodness and kindness to us, for waking us up this morning. As we follow the ways of this week, we invite you to be with us and we seek you first. Bless the word in our hearts and minds. Today we pray. Amen. Psalms are the place of refuge and as I think I previously said, whenever we are sad or happy, we go back to the book of Psalms. One of my favorite psalms is Psalm 16. Psalm 16. And it begins with, Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. <clears throat> As you go through the book of Psalms, we see this again and again and again and again. The topic of trusting in God. Trust in God. Trust in God. It is actually the main thought of the Bible, knowing God to the degree of trusting in Him fully, completely, absolutely, every day, in all times, in all circumstances. I'd like to read from Psalm 16, the last, um, the last verse, verse 11. You will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. What are we, uh, what are we looking for every day? Well, if you talk to someone, most of the people would probably say, I'm looking for happiness. Everybody wants to be happy. Uh, be they young, be they middle-aged, be they older, everybody is looking for happiness. Actually, the title, In Pursuit of Happiness, it's a known uh, saying in the United States. In Pursuit of Happiness is being the right of every man. The challenge is that not everybody is happy, number one. Number two, I believe that happiness has its own, own uh, rules and laws. The Bible the Word of God, as we call it, says, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy, fullness of happiness. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I remember one day reading a book, uh, and they made a movie out of it. It's called In Pursuit of Happiness. It's the life of a man, a young man. He is searching for happiness and one day he gets out of his boring job. He was working in a lab in a hospital and he sees uh, uh, another person close to his age in a very expensive car. And he goes to that man and says, well, man, what do you do? How do you, how did you find happiness? And the guy tells him what he was doing. And this uh, <clears throat> person begins the pursuit of happiness. It ends up that in his pursuing happiness, he becomes actually homeless. Lives for a number of years homeless. He has a child. He carries his, I think, four years old child with him, sleeping in different places, um, train stations and sometimes even in bathrooms. And eventually he gets a job and he sleeps at the job. Um, he ends up being a millionaire, finally. <clears throat> The question is, yes, he reached out his dream of becoming a millionaire. Did he ever find happiness? You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I believe, and I think my life 
uh, proves it to me, not to other people, but to me. The ultimate happiness is finding God. The ultimate happiness in life is not in having material things, not even living in a beautiful place like this, which I really appreciate and I praise God. But I know that everything comes and goes as our days are coming and going. <clears throat> the ultimate happiness can be found in God. And actually, that's wonderful because it doesn't matter the level of your education or the talents you have or how much money you make, not even the age. God is the ultimate happiness. The wonderful privilege we have is that we can find happiness every day. If we find God every day, we will find happiness every day. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let's, let us make the purpose of every day to find God, to walk with Him, to be with Him, to turn our minds and hearts to Him, to honor Him with our life. As we do that, as we pursue happiness in this way, we will be probably some of the happiest people in the world. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you this morning for showing us the path of life, for teaching us how can we find happiness in you. We know that you are the ultimate purpose of life. Thank you for the promise of walking with us every day, renewing our happiness and finding our greatest pleasure in you. We pray for the day you will come so our happiness would be fullest in that day. I pray for everybody that watches this video for all my friends, brothers and sisters, for my family members, even for those who struggle and are sad. Renew your happiness and peace in our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, stay in touch with us and may the Lord be with you.